Hey guys, so today we're going to take a look at block lists in your pie hole. So what are they? How do I find good block lists? How do I add them to the pie hole? How do I remove them from the pie hole? When do they get updated? And how do I update them more frequently? So we're going to cover an awful lot of content here today. The first one is what is a block list? Well, the purpose of your pie hole is to prevent malicious content from being loaded in your browser at a network level. So a block list is preventing domains from loading content in the browser before it hits your browser. So that might be advertising, but it might also be malware or some other unwanted content. So how do we find a block list? How does the pie hole know what content to block? Well, the pie hole knows that because we tell it. So we maintain a list that the pie hole goes and fetches from of malicious domains that uh, you want to, to block. One of the, my favorite hosts for uh, these lists is a place called firebog.net. This site has collected an awful lot of the most useful lists and collated them and sorted them in a way that I personally uh, use and really enjoy. So what are these lists? Well, if we actually click on one of the lists, we'll see that it loads. It's basically just a text file that contains all of the domains that we don't want PyHole to load. You can see there's a bunch of names here, but there's also a couple of IP addresses. Uh, it's 0.0.0.0 in this address, but for other block lists, it might contain specific IP addresses that it's trying to, to block or IP ranges. So once we've identified the lists that we want to, to use, that might be the suspicious lists, the advertising lists, or some tracking lists, we're just going to grab the URL to the actual text file itself. And then we're gonna go over to the Raspberry Pi. And on the left-hand side, we're gonna hit group management. And then we've got add lists on the left as well. And then you'll see an option to add an address here in the address bar at the top, and an option to add a comment if you wanna just add a little bit more information about why you're adding the list. You'd then be able to add, hit the add button, and that would cause the uh, page to refresh and for the, the list to appear down below. So you can see here, here is all of the lists that I've previously added. I'm not going to add this one because you can see it's actually already in my list. It's a, a list that I already use. And we can see that it hasn't been updated um, frequently, but it is enabled and uh, the list is being refreshed very, very frequently. So how do you remove a list from your pie hole if it's no longer in use? Well, if we go through my lists here, we can see that there are two domains that are no longer being refreshed. There's a little bit of an X icon here uh, which indicates that PyHole can't reach the address. And then if I click on the URL as well, we'll get a 404 not found, seeing that there's no content there. So I want to remove this list. There's no point trying to fetch um, content from a domain that doesn't exist anymore, or a list that doesn't exist anymore. I could just disable it here by clicking on the disable button, but I'm going to delete it entirely by hitting on this trash icon here on the, on the right-hand side. So now that we know where to fetch the content from or where to get some of these block lists from, how do we get it to refresh? Well, the good news is that the pie hole automatically refreshes every Sunday. So you don't need to do anything. It will always go and grab the latest content from those lists on a Sunday at a random interval. But if you did want to update the, the list either manually or automatically more frequently than that, well, you've got the option to go here on the to tools on the left-hand side. And then we would just click update gravity uh, here. And then this brings us to a page with an update button. And when we click this update button, what pie hole, the pie hole will actually do is it'll go to all of those lists and it'll fetch the most current content content and update it um, manually. And through the power of YouTube editing, we can skip ahead to when the pie hole has updated all of the current lists. This is what it would look like here. So we can see that's very, very easy, almost as easy as maybe scrolling down below and giving this video a like if you're enjoying the content so far, possibly commenting and subscribing if you'd like to get in touch with uh, future content. But otherwise, we'll take a look at how to update the pie hole uh, very, very frequently on a schedule. So what you're going to need to do here is get logged into your pie hole in the command line, and then we're going to need to run the command that I've got in the terminal window here um, already. So I'm going to put that command in the description of this video. But once you run this command, we're going to hit enter here, and we're going to be brought to the cron tab for the pie hole interface. So we can see here, if we scroll down to the very first line that is not commented out, the uh, the pie hole will update the ad sources once a week on a Sunday by default. And the cron job here, it's this number seven that indicates that it should run at a random time on the, the on a Sunday. So we can see for me, it's running at nine minutes past um, three uh, on a Sunday. And I'd like to get it to run every day. So we'll just hit backspace here and we'll replace that seven with a star. Star is a wildcard character. It means that it'll run every day now instead of uh, just on a Sunday. But you do have to put it in there. Otherwise, you'll break the format of the, the cron job um, itself. So then we're going to hit Control S and then we're going to hit Control X and we'll be brought out of the interface itself. 
So that's it guys, that's how you would get Pyhole to update the block lists on a daily basis instead of on a weekly schedule. Hope you enjoyed this video and otherwise I will catch you on the flip side.